This is Farmer John. I'm uh, working on a parapet wall. Uh, you can see the old model. Uh, put these lightweight terracotta things on top of brick. And so uh, brick doesn't work in compression. And uh, so they just, when it freezes, it pops out. And you can see the neighbors, they just tuck point every 20 years or whatever at the top. And uh, then they don't have it flashed, they just have the tar up there, which uh, is great, uh, but it doesn't work because it separates, so you need some metal flashing going between there. Um, so the solution I took was to put a bond beam up on top of the brick to put some weight on it, and it's got the rebar going all the way through it. And the bond beam, that's when you buy the block that already have the middle cut out, and it's pretty handy. Uh, makes a good strong thing. Uh, I used uh, quick set concrete, which is a problem because I want to put in the uh, anchor bolts while it was wet, but uh, I was too slow, so I got to cut those out with a hammer drill. But basically, I'm going to fasten up a piece of two by ten on top of that and then flash it. Uh, this is the part of the parapet wall that was in really bad shape. I tuck pointed it and uh, you can see I left a little space in the joints because that's where the uh, caulk sealant goes. You don't really want water in horizontal joints. And now I'm starting to work my way around. You can see got the same problem here. They just uh, let it rot. So I'm taking the tar whatever paper away from it. You can see uh, there's, uh, I don't know, 60 years of tar paper laid on top of each other. But the original problem wasn't solved. The parapet wall is just in terrible shape. So it's, it's fine structurally. I just need to tuck point it and uh, flash it. Um, this is, uh, this is why I started the video, because I have to thread this nut by hand. It's taken forever, so I'm killing some time. Uh, this was a header joint, just like on the neighbors, a couple stone that are up there. Uh, unfortunately, one of them came loose and it's crooked, so put a couple straps on top with tap cons, just as a temporary thing, uh, until I got the, uh, bolt in there. You can see I'm turning the screw right now. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you want to put the screw on before you cut it because then you mess up the thread. Anyway, so I put some a little bit of rebar and I'm gonna basically pour concrete inside of that to give it some strength at the top. But first I need to tuck point it so that the concrete doesn't leak out and uh, if I remember, I will straighten that thing out, which is the whole point in the first place, is because it's crooked. I don't know if you can see that or not. But. Anyway, so that's where it's at. And then uh, I'm just getting ready for the next part of the project so that I have the materials when I get here. But basically, the vertical part of the wall had the same issues, a lot of rotten wood over the years. and. Uh, since it's vertical, it's uh, really a candidate for modern steel roofing. So I was just cutting out a chunk of it to see how, how easily I could get uh, underneath that uh, cap. Because I do like the look of the old cap. Anyway, I uh, took out a few board and... Uh, oh, wait. Getting closer. I uh, took out a few board, and uh, it's pretty good. I uh, opportunity to insulate some stuff in there, and I can see, probably, maybe you can see that in there. Uh, you can see where the issue was with the, uh, that kind of duct where they wrap the, it's like uh, plastic, it's like those heating ducts for, or dryer vent ducts that are flexible. Anyway, the, the rats ate through it, or the squirrels, or whatever. And they they made their own so they got because they wanted this whole place to be heated but we really wanted the front room of the house to be heated so 
we're going to have to renegotiate that with the squirrels. Um, maybe they just use that to travel around the house, but I think they, they like the heat. Um, and probably the original way they got in is from the electricians. You know, electricians are your enemy. They just put holes wherever they want. And you can see where the electricians just busted out that one by uh, to get the uh, electrical conduit in. And uh, then the HVAC people, well, I don't know what to say. Anyway, I'm gonna keep turning this screw for a while, and then I'm gonna be done. This has been more than a minute with Farmer John.